What is going on, Kane Sport? Azubi Charles here for another installment of Inside the Lines. Today, I'm joined by Miami commit third Scroggins out of Savannah, Georgia. Third recently committed to the Canes and excited to be on the board. So without further ado, let's bring him on today. How we doing? How we doing, sir? Sir, sir. I'm good, man. I'm doing good. I see you repping the Canes. Just how does it feel, you know, being a Miami commit, you know, these last few weeks? Man, it felt good, man. I'm glad, you know what I'm saying? I committed that, man. It feels good. I feel the love from all the fans and the coaches, man. So, you know, you know I'm ready to get to work in December. And so, yeah. With you, you committed about, you know, a week after that official visit down to Coral Gables. Kind of take me through that weekend and, you know, what made you ultimately want to commit to the Canes? Uh, so, like, the whole week, well, my hat is still too awful. I'm trying to get it right. But, uh, so, like, the thought process through the week. So, what I was thinking about doing. <laughs> so, when I went there, man, it was like, you know, when I first got there, um, just when I first stepped foot in the hotel, the coaches and the support, uh, just the staff, it was just, it was just welcoming, you know. I got there from Auburn. Like, the only two places was Miami and Auburn really showed that love like that so you know when i walked in they uh greeted me with open arms you know they was talking to me talking to my family you know um and i have a brother um we in the same grade so he's looking at you know other schools too and you know they treated him with open arms too knowing that you know he's looking at uh schools to you know go go to so you know it was just a real love thing you know yeah and then with you on that coaching staff, I know a lot of, you know, big characters. We got Dennis Smith, we got Coach Cristobal, Coach Taylor. Just what's those interactions like with those guys? And, you know, who really stands out to you when you talk to that coaching staff? <laughs> Everybody, man, I ain't gonna lie. You, it's a whole bunch of energy. Like Coach Cristobal, Coach D-Train, just everybody on that staff, they, the energy there is just, it's like, it's different. You don't see that every day for, from a coaching staff. They really just, some coaches just down to earth, but with them, you know, they open up, they talk to you, they're real with you. And, you know, they funny, like, they dumb funny. So it's like, it's crazy. But, um, yeah, uh, I don't really have no, like, who opens up? I don't really, everybody really opened up to me. So it's not no specific person, but, yeah. With you, you visited uh, Miami twice now, correct? Yes, sir. Just, you know, yeah. outside, outside of football, what are your favorite parts about, you know, South Florida and just the city in general? Ooh. Um, the beach, you know, I'm from uh, Savannah, Georgia, Georgia, coastal Georgia. So, you know, we have a beach over here. So, you know, um, I love water, but uh, the water, the beach, um, the restaurants, the restaurants we had, um, we went to what, what, some seafood spot. It was good. They had like burgers. It was all type of stuff. Um, the, the food there is amazing. Uh, the people, you know, is different. Um, racist there like you don't see like you know like a specific like race there it's like it's all type of you know people yeah, there so you know yeah yeah so it's like a culture thing like you don't really see that every day in like in certain part of states and stuff so you don't really see that in georgia but uh in florida you really do so that's what i like about it um everybody gets along there so you know that's what i like about it um it was one of my favorite things. Shoot. Um, man, that's really, you know, Coral Gables, you know, it's nice. So, yeah. Okay, okay. With you, I know I'm going to ask this question. I think I know the answer. I, I always ask guys this. What, what state do you think produces the best ball players, you know, in the country? Everybody know I'm going to go with Georgia, man. There's no hands down. Georgia produced the most ball players. Everybody say Florida. Everybody say Texas. Everybody say Cali. Man, bro, Georgia, man. Everybody know. You know, you can look up who who are the most, like, longest lasting, like, prospects in the NFL right now. It's literally, like, I think it's Georgia kids, like, Georgia people. So, you know, but I, I'm from Georgia. And I say we produce the most athletes. Back in the day, they said Florida. You know, Florida, I'm, hands down, Florida did, you know what I'm saying? They did, did something, but, you know, I'm going to go with, you know what I'm saying, Georgia. But, yeah. You being from the PSA, what separates, you know, that Georgia ball? What was different about that Georgia ball? What makes you guys unique from the rest of the country? Well, our motor, bro. You know what I'm saying? Georgia, we got that motor. We got size. We got speed. I mean, we really got everything you can say. Um... Yeah, we just different. Our mentality is different, bro. We come there, 
you know, some people in Georgia, they come from the, you know what I'm saying, the hard parts of, you know, the city, and the only thing they know is just grind. And that's what we got, you know what I'm saying? In Georgia, we just like the grind, but we want to get better. We want to make it to the league, you know, so, yeah, and help our family out, you know what I'm saying, yeah. And then I want to kind of talk about your game a little bit. You know, you had a pretty big junior season, 84 tackles, 12 sacks, 10 tackles for losses. You know, talk to me about your game and kind of what do you think you do well that, that separates you from other, you know, defenders? Um, I have a, like I said, I have a great motor. You know, I go to a military school. Mm -hmm. So uh, that discipline, that discipline aspect in me and just to get after it, you know. So uh, I have a super great motor. I have great hands. I can say, well, me, I can say I have great hands. Um, my speed, my first step, I believe I have a very good first uh, first step. I can close distance like very fast. So it's it's crazy, but that's what separates me. That's why I'm so like, you know, I wasn't really ranked before, but mm -hmm. you know, after people see my film from my junior, my sophomore and junior film, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's nothing like, you know, I'm one of the best edge rushers in the nation. So, you know, that's what separates me. My motor, you know, my first step, my hands. Um, and then my power from my hips, you know. So, yeah. And then I train with the best best D-line coach, you know, to me in the, in the nation. You know what I'm saying? So, and I train with top prospects. So, you know, that's what separates me. Yeah, well, you have the opportunity kind of if you want to shout out your D-line coach and kind of just, you know, say something quick about him. Uh, coach D'Angelo Brown, man. Um, you know, Elijah Griffin, uh, number one uh, D-tackle in the nation. We go uh, Buddy, Walter Mathis. Um, or Rising Edge, Ladamian Guyton, and uh, uh, some other cats there, man. Um, you know, we starting to produce a lot of D-line in Savannah, but because, you know what I'm saying, we getting a lot of looks, it's really because of D'Angelo Brown, him. Yeah, Coach, well, Coach, Coach D-Lo. So, but yeah, he really been putting, us, putting in that work for us to, you know what I'm saying, get better. That's why we so good now, because work on hands, explosiveness, you know, quick first step, power and then you know everybody got a motor you gotta have a motor you know what i'm saying so you know and then yeah. i know you mentioned a little bit ago about the rankings man obviously you weren't the highest ranked guy but now you recently became a four star do you think that kind of you know put a chip on your shoulder to make you say hey i want to prove to the country you know who i really am definitely man I, to me in my opinion i feel like i'm the best you know what i'm saying edge rusher and like the nation because just my who i am and you know what i'm saying my motor man but, uh, yeah, it put a big chip on my shoulder. I had to get better day by day. It didn't really come easy. You know what I'm saying? My freshman year, I was, like, 170. I wasn't that tall. Sophomore year, I had a, had a chip on my shoulder, man. People was doubting me, saying I was too small, too undersized, and I showed them, proved them wrong. And look at me now, 26 offers, you know what I'm saying? Committed to the U. So, you know, yeah. I want to ask you about that. Obviously, you mentioned, you know, you started your freshman year, a lot of doubters. What was that feeling like when you got your first offer? Just, you know, how were you feeling when you, you know, saw your hard work kind of starting to pay off? Um, I started my sophomore year. My fault, if I said freshman. I started my sophomore year. But uh, that first offer, it was, uh, well, I got Georgia Southern, my first old, but it was in January. It was, uh, it was uh, I didn't know I was going to cry, but I was, I can't really explain it because there's a lot of emotions, but it was, it was crazy, man. A lot of my friends was getting old, and I was like, Man, what I, what I need to do, you know what I'm saying, to get right. And, you know, when the time came, when the Lord blessed me with my first offer, man, it was it was a lot of emotions, bro. Everybody was excited for me. when I, They knew I got the offer because my coach, they pulled me out of class. Uh, coach Britt shook my hand and said, you know, Joe Southern offered me. And when I walked back in class, everybody screaming, you know what I'm saying? It was crazy. It was a lot of emotions to us, but, yeah. And then, you know, outside of football, who, who's third Scroggins? Well, what do you like to do when you're not playing ball, when you're not training and things like that? Um, what I like to do? Um, shoot, chill. I don't, I don't really know. I just be training. Only thing I do is just train, play football, do schoolwork. You know what I'm saying? 3.9 student, my average. You know what I'm saying? So I got 3.9. So that's really schoolwork. Chill with my brothers. Um... Play the game, <laughs> really sleep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Talk about that academics. I know you said 3.9 GPA. I spoke with Coach Britt, and he said you're a high academic guy. If you weren't playing ball or you know in college, what do you what do you be majoring? What are some other interests you know you want to do outside of football? Um, so I'm trying to major in mechanical engineer, like engine, yeah, mechanical engineer. So um, I'm trying to do that. Um, 
You know what I'm saying? That's that's really been my goal since I was a little jet, you know what I'm saying? Um I said little jet. <laughs> little <laughs> nah, you did, man. since we I was small, to but uh, uh since I was small, but um I always wanted to uh do that because you know my grandfather, he was a mechanic and I always wanna, you know, I love cars and like I love how it functions, it functions like your body. You know what I'm saying? What you put in is what you get out. So, you know, that's when a car goes in play and then <laughs> If I didn't, when I get to uh, Miami, if I don't want to do that, I'm probably going to go into the medical field. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Okay. And, I, and I spoke with Coach Britt. You know, we did a nice story about you. He told me you're the type of guy that, you know, makes everybody around him better. Just talk to me where that, that leadership comes from. And, you know, he said at a military school, it's harder for younger guys to take that role. But just, you know, for you, where, where did that leadership, those, those skills come from for you? Um, came from my, my grandfather and my uh, grandma. My grandfather was a mass sergeant in the uh, military. He was uh, in the Air Force. He was in there for 21 years. And my grandmother was a school teacher, and she taught for 30 plus years. And I, you know, say I live with them, so I'm kind of grandbaby um, type kid. But you know, I, it came from there. And then my brother, you know, we always I love competition. I want people to succeed and get better. You know what I'm saying? It's you don't see a lot of successful, you know what I'm saying, young men in the world. So I want to push them to be great. You know what I'm saying? At what they do, you got to be the best at what you do. If you work at McDonald's, be the best, you know what I'm saying, at, at that. If you're working at, you know what I'm saying, a shop or a hair salon or just doing something, you got to be the best at that. That's where that, you know what I'm saying, that mentality comes from. You got to grind. If you want to make this or just, you know what I'm saying, be an outstanding person. And it all came from God, too, man. He blessed me with the ability to have that mindset. And you have to have that mindset to succeed in life. And that kind of, you know, leads into perfectly my next question. I, I like to ask guys this, you know, what's your why? What what makes you want to get up in the morning and go to those training sessions, even, you know, if your body's aching? Just what pushes you to be, you know, who you want to be in the future? Because it's all going to pay off in the, in the future, definitely. Everything you do is going to pay off in the future. You know what I'm saying? If you get up early... You know, I know you don't feel like it, but you, you know what I'm saying? You have to. It's it's on them days when you don't want to do it, you got to do it. So, yeah, it's just like running an extra sprint. When you dumb tired and you run an extra sprint, when you get in the game and when you super tired in the game, you know what I'm saying? That extra sprint that you did on the field, you know what I'm saying? It's going to work out in the game. So that's, you know, you know, that's just, yeah. And then, you know, everybody knows Sturge Scroggins on the field. You're a talented edge rusher, but any talents outside of football, anything that, you know, you could do that would surprise some people that they didn't know you could do? Um, you know, I like to, like to draw. And um, I love I love art. I uh, love music. You know, I'm a typical guy. Um, I listen to any type of music, any genre. It don't really matter. Um, let's see, what else, what else I like to do? Um, I'm good, you know, I'm good with schoolwork, mm -hmm. but, uh, that's really, I don't really have nothing special I can say about me. It's just my personality and who I am as a person. I will, you know what I'm saying? If you want to do something in life, I'm going to push you to, uh, be your best at it. Get a max out of you. You know, that's what's special about me. I have a great personality. People say, I'm going to try to push you in everything you do. You know, if you want to do something. I'm going I'm to take your word for it and I'm going to push you to do it. So, Yeah, yeah just, just like what Coach Britt said, man, that's awesome here. And then to wrap it up the show, I always like to do something I call quick hit. So I'm going to ask you, you know, quick, five quick questions to go fire, you know, the response right back. So first question, what is the best wing flavor? Uh, honey lemon pepper. Right, okay, honey lemon pepper. Talked about music. Who's your favorite artist? What's your go-to pregame song? Um, Lil Baby's my favorite artist. Um, Kanye West, amazing. That's my favorite song, though. Yeah. Okay. If you could have dinner with one person, dead or alive, who would it be and why? Oh, uh, who? Um, uh, Dwayne Rock Johnson. Um, great guy, great actor. Um, very good person. You know. Yeah. Okay. I also played at the YouTube, so I see that connection with you. Country or city? Um, city. City, okay. Last question, man. What's your message to the Canes fans? What are they gonna get out of Third Scroggins? I'm coming, man. You know, um, it's gonna be for me. You gonna have that motor uh, from me. You know, what I'm saying as a person, I'm gonna grind every day, push the whole team to be better. 
um, with that position group, and you know what I'm saying, as a unit, a team. Um, you know, come from military school, uh, you don't see a lot of kids, young cats like me trying to be great. So, you know, I'm going to push everybody to be great. Um, and then when it comes third down, you're no going to be in the backfield making that play. So, yeah. That's awesome, man. Third, shout yourself out on socials. Where can everybody find you on Instagram, uh, Twitter, TikTok, all that good stuff? Uh, my Instagram is third underscore on underscore go. That's my Insta. Um, on Twitter, it's third underscore Scroggins. Uh, what else? What's on my socials, twin? My snap is what third underscore on underscore go, like G O O O. It's it's long, twin, but yeah, it was my social. For sure. Third, I really do appreciate you, you know, coming on the show today, chopping up with me. For everyone at home, thank you for tuning in. For Third Scroggins, I'm Azubi Charles. Have a great rest of your day.